Yo, what's going on guys? Cryptic TMT back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about cheating in sim racing. And yeah, you've probably seen the video by Boothby and another few videos from the F1 esports side of things with, you know, pe technically people cheating. And I want to talk about sort of the gray area and sort of third party apps that you could consider as cheating. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, websites where you can actually go and purchase actual cheats and stuff like that, because clearly that stuff is cheating. But what about the gray area of third party apps and sort of software that comes with, you know, especially the DD wheels or the, you know, the more high level pedals and stuff like that. A lot of the low tail pedals have their own software and stuff. And you can sort of alter things that will give you an advantage in the game. If you guys are not talking about this things like um, Sim Hub. The Hoysonville pedals also have their own software. I'm pretty sure that Moza will also have their software for their pedals as well. So again, it's one of those areas where you think, hmm, it can get a little bit tricky. And I'm going to show you guys why you can consider it to be a little bit of a cheat. All right, but right, let's get stuck into the video. So this is the Sim Hub app. I believe if you've got um, sort of the, the heptic pedals or pedals that have a motor in it, um, a lot of the sort of newer low tail pedals, the higher end stuff, then basically what you can do is you can literally add different forces to your pedals and you can change how linear the throttle is. So for instance, on ACC where you see, you know, a lot of people having to use zero TC to get the absolute maximum out of the car. And you might be thinking, how the hell are these guys doing it so easily? Literally guys, a lot of people use this app. It's not like a big secret or anything, but there is app Sim Hub. You can literally change, you know, how the throttle map comes across. If you have a pair of Hoisingfeld sprints, I think you can get the software for that as well. And you can literally change how linear the throttle comes through. You know, you can change the throttle curve. So your throttle might be, you know, get progressively aggressive instead of, you know, aggressive as soon as you put your foot down so it kind of takes away the skill of you having to do it yourself now you can see on these sorts of apps you can actually edit things yourself and you can see what that does to you know the wheel lock or the wheel slip you can also do this sort of thing with your your pedals your accelerator pedal and stuff like that and i can't use it because i don't have the the right pedals but i'm only seeing that it must be a pretty big advantage i did watch a video of a guy who was basically talking about the same sort of thing and he actually has the pedals to um use this sort of software and i'll probably put a section of his video in in this video um hope he doesn't mind i'll leave the link to his channel and his video below as well and he basically shows he was on iRacing using um sim hub and basically on iRacing the porsche cup car has no abs no traction nothing like that but because he's able to edit the um the throttle curve response edit the the brake and stuff like that he basically made it so much easier for him to to drive the car without it he was struggling with it he was a lot quicker and these sorts of things is where i'm saying it's a bit of a gray area okay um if you have a normal set of pedals you're not gonna be able to do things like this and you're gonna struggle against people that do have these sorts of um third party apps that they're using to help you know control the car at different spaces so um that's the thing it depends you know how you guys see it me personally i don't know exactly if you could call it cheating because you kind of get what you pay for particularly when you're spending lots of money on these high-end pedal sets but you know again it is a a definite gray area but let's go through some of this stuff that you can do um, I've never actually been through all this stuff because I know most of it doesn't work for my will in particular. The only thing I do know is you can create a soft lock for the Frostmaster for the T300, which ACC doesn't have any soft lock on the game for some reason. So you can actually create a soft lock, which is pretty interesting, man, that even a Frostmaster, as old as it is, this software is able to affect it somehow. But um, ABS active, pulse duration, I'm wondering what a lot of this stuff, the actual effects that this stuff does, but you're literally able to edit so many different forces, man. Acceleration G-Force. I'm not sure. Let's enable this effect. Um, I'm not sure what this one does, but, you know, if you have the right equipment, you can literally edit everything. You know, you can make it pretty much perfect to how you drive. And again, 
it's gonna be a a big help you know um let's go to will slip now this is more to do with traction so trigger when the brake pedal reaches a certain percent is insane trigger when the throttle reaches a certain percent and these these are the sort of advantages that you know particularly on acc when everyone's using no tc you're, you're going to be able to edit this as much as possible and look at that you can literally curve the throttle or curve the brake exactly how you want it and i don't know man like as i said you pay for the stuff then it is what it is but at the same time where does it leave people that you know have a normal set of pedals you know and again this is the sort of advantage you get can you say it's pay to win um i don't know at the end of the day this stuff is the, the kind of equipment that goes with these apps is very expensive so you can't you know you can't expect someone to pay sort of five six seven hundred eight hundred pounds for a set of pedals and they're just doing the exact same thing that a set of pedals for a hundred pound are going to do i expect there to be a big difference but again for the game companies themselves i believe there's more stuff inside the game that they can do to help the people that have a lower set of pedals because sim racing technically is for everybody but um what do you guys think do you think it's cheating me personally i'm not going to say it's cheating but there definitely is big advantages to it i personally think a way that games can sort of you know level the playing field out is what they do on the race room which i have the setup page right here and i believe that traction control shouldn't just be you know one to one to five i believe that or one to nine like it is on acc i believe you should be able to edit the tc perfectly to exactly the way how you want it and you can see here on race room you can literally edit the levels of traction between each traction cut so if it goes one to six you can edit how much tc you're getting from one to six so you are in control of exactly how much traction control the car is getting and that's on the traction cut traction slip and the overall tc so i believe things like that will help level the playing field out because you can kind of then make your own tc curve which is going to suit you exactly to how you can handle it with your pedals because some people might have you know really fast travel where their their throttle pedal goes from zero to 100 extremely sensitively and there's nothing you can do about editing that if you have just a standard set of pedals like for me i have the frostmaster tlcms and although you can edit um the brake pedal a little bit you can't do anything with the throttle really so you know if you've got an extremely sensitive throttle there's not really much you can do to change that so i feel like they need to have a sort of system inside the games where they have you know the same way how you can see on on race room where you can literally alter the different levels of tc you can get i believe they should have sort of a, a sensitivity monitor on you know brake throttle actually inside the game so you can sort of mess with that and get it to be precisely what's best for your pedals because as i said if you just have a standard set of pedals you're probably not going to be able to challenge right at the front of acc or any of the newer sort of titles even if you get on the mons ultimate the braking is particularly tricky so you know with just a standard set of pedals you're going to struggle and that's why for me when i saw that you know lmu are pushing to bring out um Le Mans ultimate on console you know if you don't have a, a decent set of pedals man it's going to be pretty tricky to be doing abs off and stuff like that particularly if you can't edit your pedals at all you know and that's where i believe that's how we can make it a little more equal to help other people to sort of be able to compete at the front even when you go on games like Call of Duty, you can literally fine tune, you know, your your analog sticks. You can fine tune your triggers, your sensitivity, and stuff like that, just to get the your control pad perfect for how you want it. And I believe they need to do something like that in sim racing, and not just for third party apps. Because as I said, you know, people are going to be getting different sort of advantages and stuff like that, and it's not exactly a level playing field. And of course, if you pay for something, then you're going to want all the benefits that's going to bring you but at the same time sim racing is for everybody it's a broad scale and i believe the game companies themselves can do something to help that out and just make sure that everyone is you know sort of playing from the same sort of field of course people that still have their third party apps they're still going to be able to do things that maybe 
are not possible for you know game companies to implement inside the game but at least give us a few options to you know change your sensitivity change the throttle a little if you want to have linear dynamic or all these sorts of things that we see in fps shooters i believe they can sort of put stuff like that inside the game so we can get a better experience when we're jumping on these games and we don't have to worry about you know i can't run zero tc because you know my throttle pedal is extremely aggressive and stuff like that so hopefully those things in the future will change as i said i believe even in ren sport they've made it so you can sort of edit quite a lot of how your throttle comes in and stuff like that so i hope to see things like that in sim racing in the future but what do you guys think do you guys believe this these sorts of things are cheating or do you just think it comes to the territory of buying high-end equipment anyway leave your comments in the comment section below cryptic tmg like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace